is like the top end of Switzerland, definitely. I've skied in Austria and France and this is a different league. It's just the, uh, the type of people you see here. They all look very uh, rich. <laughs> to have the same thing they have at home or anywhere else in the world. For them, Gstaad is a mountain village. So it's the rustic charm that seems to attract high-profile guests. Around 1908-06, we had the train built coming to Gstaad. Thanks to the trains, they built the Palace Hotel. And uh, that, uh, that day, uh, a lot of people were travelling by train. And, that's how Gstaad really uh, started. Uh, we have rich people staying here. Uh, in the past we used to have more famous people. Nowadays in the uh, digital age, uh, the, the famous people tend to evade a bit the public places. They either don't travel anymore or they go and stay in private chalets where they really have their privacy. not anymore perceived as a skiing resort or only as a skiing resort we are perceived as a special product uh, where uh, where you a place where you must go a place to be we have a lot of uh, nice restaurants like uh, the olden uh, palace hotel sonnenhof these are the places and a lot of small uh, little bistros outside uh, where, uh, where you can eat without being bothered, and it's nice. So we have a huge demand of people coming here who, who try to, to buy houses. Such as Greek shipping tycoon Peter Livanos and the Spanish industrialist Jose Maria Aristrain, who are each building chalets for 100 million francs. This chalet belongs to French rock star Johnny Halliday. Could the tax breaks for foreigners be the main attraction? Start became big before all this tax uh, talk. Why is it then? What is it? Anonymity? Start it's because it's beautiful. Uh, we have a lot of infrastructure, a swimming pool, tennis, curling rink, a big uh, gymnastic hall, everything is a hospital for instance. Uh, the main thing is we have to remain a mountain village as we were for hundreds of years and not just sell uh, the last square meter to, to tourists, to people who then only will inhabit the chalet for a, a couple of weeks a year. Gstaad has very strict building regulations to prevent too much development and the farming lobby remains strong. The village may be experiencing a boom with nearly 100% occupancy of hotels and chalets this winter but there's no room for complacency. We, we are investing, so uh, the money Gstaad is earning is invested again. So you, you see in many of the hotels here, big investments are taken. They invest in, in, uh, in spas, in wellness, in, better, in even better restaurants, in more rooms, in better rooms. But we are also invent, uh, investing in events to, to try to people coming back to Gstaad. The target groups not so much the rich and famous, but Swiss people with young families. When you have good experience with families, with young families, they come here uh, not only for one day, but for, for uh, let's say, over years, also as day tourists, they tend to come here also later, when they are adults. Gone are the days when you could end up sharing a chairlift with Roger Moore, Jack Nicholson or Michael Jackson, but happily, Gstaad still has the same old charm as when they were regular visitors.